Tim was in Southern California today to push for Prop 1, which focuses on the homeless and mental health systems. But the governor also is facing backlash about Panera Bread and California's minimum wage law. NBC4 chief political reporter Cody Nolan asked him about it during a one-on-one -on -one interview you'll see here for the first time and only on NBC4. He joins us live from the newsroom. Conan? That's right. Well, the clock is ticking for California Governor Gavin Newsom, who is in San Fernando today touting his effort to build facilities for for the mentally ill, the governor has argued Proposition 1, a $6.4 billion bond issue, is what he calls a game changer in the effort against chronic homelessness. But while the ballot measure has been the governor's priority, his efforts have been somewhat diverted by a controversy involving the state's new minimum wage law for fast food workers. Now, under the new law the governor signed last year, fast food workers at major chain restaurants will receive a minimum wage of $20 an hour. According to Bloomberg News, the governor had an exception written into the law exempting restaurants with standalone bakery products, a so-called carve-out that would benefit billionaire Greg Flynn who owns two dozen Panera Bread franchises in California. Flynn also made several large donations to Newsom in the past. They've been had business dealings. They went to the same high school. They were at the same school in, in suburban San Francisco. Mr. Newsom's office has pushed back hard on the accusation, saying that the exemption was one of several that had been considered in negotiations over the bill and that a new interpretation of the law indicates Pandera might not be exempt after all. What a coincidence that it's a friend of Gavin Newsom who doesn't have to pay the, the $20 an hour minimum wage. Yeah, it turns out, A, it's not true. He never talked to me about it, period, full stop. So it's he an absurd story. He didn't have story. to talk to you about it. There were some discussions around bakeries and this and that. But in relationship to this story, it's absurd. It's a coincidence that, the, uh, that this new minimum wage law did not impact a campaign contributor of yours. It does impact. It, the restaurant association just came out with a statement saying it does impact. Now, the governor's office says they took another look at the bill and believe Panera may be required to pay the minimum wage hike. In any case, uh, Mr. Newsom says the controversy, which he calls absurd, is not his priority for Election Day. Uh, Proposition 1 is his priority. According to the latest poll from the Institute for Governmental Studies at UC Berkeley, uh, that measure has about half of voters' support. It could be close. I'm Conan Nolan, NBC4 News.